Praise God, everybody. I call you blessed. Pastor Rick here. Welcome to 714 Prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad in it. So thankful that you're able to be a part of this with me. Uh, I've been thinking about what it is that I wanted to start our week off uh, talking about. And I was reminded of Caleb, especially from the book of Numbers. And I wanted to, um, let me just read a couple scriptures to you, and then I want to go over a few of the character traits of Caleb that I think that it's important for us to have uh, in our everyday life, in our Christian walk for sure, but especially in the times that we live. Um, we need some Caleb's and Joshua's who are going to be able to look uh, forward into the challenge and the things that are there, but to see the possibilities. Um, to look past the possibilities to the impossibilities that God can give us. Um, or if you want to look at, at it the other way around, maybe to look at things that in man's eyes look completely impossible, but with God, nothing is impossible. All things are possible. So I'm reading from Numbers chapter 13. If you want to grab your Bibles, I'm going to read a few passages of Scripture, and then we'll just talk for a minute or two. Number, Numbers chapter 13, I'm going to read, start with verse 25. Uh, this is the, the story of when uh, Moses sent the uh, spies out to check out the uh, land of Canaan. And I believe there was, um, I believe there was nine of them. Um, and Caleb and Joshua were the only two that came back with a good report. Um, but let me read this. When they returned from spying out the land at the end of 40 days, they proceeded to come to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation of the sons of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh, and they brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And thus they told him and said, We went into the land where you sent us, and it certainly does flow with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. So a positive report. Here comes the negative report. Nevertheless, the people who live in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. And moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. I believe that would be talking about the descendants of the giants like uh, Goliath. Verse 29, Amalek is living in the land of the Negev and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites are living in the hill country and the Canaanites are living by the sea, oops, uh, the sea of, living by the sea and by the side of the Jordan. Verse 30, here we go. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, we should by all means go up and take possession of it for we will surely overcome it. <coughs> so up to this point, you know, these spies come back and they say, you know, we, we were there. It's a land flowing with milk and honey. It is sweet, but there's giants in the land and this is not going to work, basically. But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, we should by all means go up and take possession of it, for we will surely overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, we're not able to go up against the people, for they're just too strong for us. So they gave out to the sons of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone in spying out is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great size. There also we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, are part of the Nephilim, and we became like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. See, you get the picture? They really short-sighted themselves no pun intended they they saw themselves it says as grasshoppers yet there was this caleb guy who said come on you guys we can do this we can do this now let's go to the next passage of scripture in chapter 14 verse 21 because my point isn't about the storyline of the spies but about caleb and so verse uh, 21 chapter 14 Yep, okay. But indeed, as I live, all the earth will be filled. Am I in the right spot? Yep. Shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Surely all the men who have seen my glory and my signs, which I perform in Egypt and in the wilderness, yet have put me to the test these ten times and have not listened to my voice, shall by no means see the land which I swore to their fathers, nor shall any of those who spurned to me see it. Check this out now. Check this out. Verse 24. 
But my servant Caleb, because he has had a different spirit and has followed me fully, I'll bring into the land which he entered, and his descendants shall take possession of it. Oh, man, I'm telling you what. I, I, I wonder if you, you see that picture there. You know, Joshua and Caleb. Caleb, of course, is speaking about, but Joshua was right with him as one of the positive positive people in the leadership team, if you will. And all these negative naysayers, we can't do it. They're bigger than us. The problem is bigger than us. The challenge is too much for us. And yet there was a Caleb there who said, no, we can do this. We can do this. And then we go on into chapter 14, and it speaks about the Lord saying, no one else is going into the promised land. Yeah, but Caleb, he's going to be able to go because he had a different spirit. There was something different about Caleb. When we get together for our next video, I'm going to start sharing some of those things with you. So here's my encouragement to you over the course of the next uh, couple of days. Go to Numbers uh, chapter 13 and chapter 14 and read those passages of Scripture about Caleb. <clears throat> and you begin to, to to discover some of the character traits. I've got a whole list of them. I think I have, uh, what here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different character traits that qualified him above everybody else. Not because he was better, but because he had a different spirit in him. Wow, that's powerful. Praise God. So uh, I encourage you, I'm going to be praying for you as you go look at those scriptures. And um, tomorrow when we get together again in the video, I'll start uh, going over some of the nine character traits that we can see in Caleb that I think can make a difference for us. And why am I taking this direction? We have uh, things before us in the COVID-19 with the election. I mean, the list goes on of the challenges that are before us. And there's going to be many that are going to go, we can't do it. It's too big for us. It's beyond us. We're too small for it. But there's going to be a few that's going to say, no, our God is greater. and We can do it. We can take possession of the things that God wants us to take possession of. We will be guarded and protected from the things that God, uh, that God wants us guarded and protected from. But, but we're going to have to have a, different, a difference about us. It's going to be some bravery, some courage, some oomph, some gusto uh, in each and every one of us. Praise God. Well, let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for this day. It's been a, just a tremendous day. I thank you for another opportunity to speak with all of our friends, our family, brothers and sisters in the Lord, church family, through the means of video. Thank you for that, Lord, given the uh, giving us the technology to connect in this way. And may it never be taken away from us in Jesus' name. May the FCC and others never censor us in Jesus' name. We just speak a boundary upon that, that we're able to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ through every battle, through every um, giant. <laughs> uh, and Lord, even the giants in our life that each of us have to kind of face personally, we need to recognize, Lord, that we're not alone. You're with us. You got us. You're hanging on to us. And it's all going to be okay. But Lord, we need to have a different spirit about us, a different attitude, a different character, a difference inside, Lord, than the average person who gives up quickly. And so I just speak that and, and, and call my friends blessed. Call all those that are watching this video today blessed with that spirit of Caleb and Joshua that believes they can, that they believe they can because of the God they serve, you, Jehovah God. We thank you for that. I give you praise, Lord Jesus, and I, I look, Jesus, to the east, and I say, Jesus, come soon. Come quickly, Lord. Come soon, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Father. We give you honor and glory in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. I thank you again for joining me. I uh, want to encourage you to keep your nose in the book. Keep your knees bent to heaven. Keep your body in the house of God. Uh, continue to... Tear up your Bible, and you all know what I'm talking about, you know. Uh, wear it out. Mark in it. Write notes in it. Ruffle up the pages. Uh, how What a blessing it would be if, uh, if, if a whole bunch of you, by the time you got done with this season of reading your Bible, uh, wore it out so much you just had to get a new one because it was falling apart. <laughs> Praise God. 
Uh, and I pray that it's a blessing to you, that you have the word in you. For here's what we've learned so far. This book shall not depart from my mouth, but I will meditate in it day and night so that I may observe to obey everything that I read. For I know that then I will make my way prosperous and then I shall have good success. And I speak that over you as well. I love you and I call you blessed.